Okay, so we've got our media all set. We're programmed. We're going to go ahead and apply water, leak test the system, and then go into our back flush. So the first thing we're going to do is verify, again, we're in the uh, bypass mode, both valves facing each other. We're going to go ahead and slowly open the water inlet. So right now we basically have water through the valve to the closed valve over here to the house. We still don't have water going to the house yet. So what we want to do is we want to put this system into backwash. So in order to do that, I'm actually going to use my, my app here to do that. And as you can see, I have the app here, and I'm just going to hit Regen Now, hit OK, and it's going to go into cycle number one. So now the valve is in backwash cycle for 10 minutes. What we're going to do is slowly open our inlet bypass valve. Now, over a period, this wants to take over a period of about five minutes. What you're going to see initially is you're going to see bubbles, air bubbles coming out of here. So just slowly open it. Let it sit for a minute, and then open it a little more, let it sit for a minute. And this is going to turn out, once the bubbles go away, it's going to be cloudy. So you're just going to see this cloudy up. Say over about a five minute period, just going to go ahead and open this valve all the way up. And you're going to let it time out. So as you're in cycle one, it'll go in and time out. For this demonstration, I'm going to go ahead and advance to the next station. So you're going to let that flow for 10 minutes. Once it exits out of that, then it's going to go to cycle two. That's the rest period. So you're going to want to just let that sit for a little bit. We're in cycle two now, so that'll go time out after five minutes. Then it'll go into the rapid rinse. So in the rapid rinse, again, what you're doing is you're bringing the water down into the media, up through the D-tube, and out through here. This will start to clear up a little bit as the more time. So this is going to be for six minutes. We're going to let that run for six minutes. Okay, after the six minutes, and then it'll go right back into the service mode which flashes between the time of day and the days left for regeneration. Now one of the things this may take depending on the size of your system it could take two or three times. What you want to do is you want to continue this until the water coming out of your rapid rinse cycle is clear and looks clean. Um, normally two to three times uh, usually clears up. Okay, so now that we've performed two or three or four backwashes, as many as it takes, and you've got clean water coming out your drain tube here, um, we're going to go ahead and open our outlet valve on the bypass valve, which now brings the rest of the system up. And what we want to do is we want to just go ahead and open this hose bib and let it run for about five minutes. This is going to flush the entire system out if there was any debris or particles, uh, left over from the installation of the valves or the fittings. Um, if you have copper to, uh, piping or you have galvanized, there might be a little corrosion that's going to get knocked out of there. So anyway, we recommend again the hose bib here uh, just for this purpose. And if you're indoors, you can run a garden hose and run it outside. Just let it run for, you know, five or ten minutes. Once that's complete, you'll go ahead and close that. And at this point then, uh, you can go ahead and open the valve to your house supply. And then again, go to uh, the nearest uh, sink without or nearest water source without aeration. Um, you could t tub a utility sink, something like that, and just go ahead and run the water for a few minutes and flush all of that to uh, just in case anything got trapped in there. And the last thing I wanted to show you, we want to install our nine volt backup battery in case we were to lose power. And that's located. There's a little. Battery clip here, a little shelf, you just plug a standard 9 volt battery in and tuck the battery right down in there. And then we'll reinstall our dust cover. And your system is complete. Thanks and have a great day.